everybody, Frank here. Welcome to week four of Flavor Today. This week we're going to do butterscotch. One of my personal favorites, and I know a lot of people out there like butterscotches, and we have a whole bunch of them we're going to go through. Today we're going to start off with three of them. One of them is Flavor Art F.A. Butterscotch. And then these two are similar and different at the same time. We have TFA Butterscotch and TFA DX Butterscotch. So right off the bat, you know, the FA is a nice light butterscotch that you can use in a lot of different ways. You can use it you can make a butterscotch pudding. You can add it to just to give you a little extra darkness to a flavor. And then you have the, the two TFA ones. They are much darker and much richer butterscotches. But let's check out some flavor notes and then we'll come back on top and we'll wrap this puppy up. Let's go. All right, gang, we're gonna start with butterscotch from TFA. Has some warnings right here. It contains acetone and acetylpropanol. Also the furfur alcohol, blah, blah, blah. You know, that stuff's still better than cigarettes, so fuck them. Let's check out some notes. This is an older mix. Let's see. Anybody we know here that's already done some stuff with it? A lot of different notes. Uh, let's see. Chachi, here we go. Uh, special, you know, man, manufacturer special specified gravity is 1.039 grams per milliliter. Uh, and a mix, medians 3%, single flavor medians 11%. Uh, Sparks Fly, uh, 8 mil was $1.49 at WLs. Not quite sure which one that is. Weak and far from ideal. Friends don't let friends. Butyric acid. Strongly recommend flavor West Natural Butterscotch 6 to 8% mixed with medicine flower butterscotch. Note from Dath, August 24th, 2017. A few emails that I saved, one of them was from Aris, and we found a warning for a chemical named furfural alcohol, which is used in these TFA flavors. TFA butterscotch, TFA chicken and waffles, which I don't think you can get anymore. Cinnamon sugar cookie, DX brown sugar, uh, orange cream bar, pie crust, rainbow sherbet, red oak, and RY4 Asian. This actually does work well, I believe, with RY4. A lot of butterscotches do. Uh, let's see, not a whole heck of a lot from people that we're familiar with. So let's just go to commonly used. Uh, TFA Bavarian Cream. Uh, Cap V1, Graham Cracker Clear. Caramel Original, Brown Sugar. All Hail the Swirl Sweet Cream, RY4 Double. TFA Marshmallow and Acetyl Pyrazine. Recipes, we have 842 public recipes. Let's see what we got as far as highest rating. Oh, and we also have 14,000 private recipes. So this is probably the most used butterscotch on ELR. It's one of the oldest ones as well. Let's see, we have Carabeca from... It's definitely do some bit, Greek dude. Seen him around for a long time. We have, uh, he used AP at 0.3. Used this TFA butterscotch at a half. Graham cracker clear at one. And RY4 double at 10. Yes, and this is a five-year-old mix. He mixed it at 60-40. With six, at six milligrams, says about three weeks steep, which is about, about right. Lost Vapes, Milk and Honey V3. This is another older one from 2015. Used uh, butterscotch at three <clears throat> to go with Bavarian cream, caramel original, graham cracker clear, marshmallow, toasted almond, and vanilla swirl. <coughs> the Game of Thrones from Alton Rose, another one 2016. Here's uh, pretty much along the same lines Bavarian cream, brown sugar, TFA butterscotch at six. Caramel sweet cream, toasted marshmallow, vanilla custard V1, and Vienna cream from FA. Let's see, Zippy has one from 2017, a creme brulee she built. 
as a uh, butterscotch at one with brown sugar at three, FA caramel at three, Catalan cream, which is a creme brulee at 0.8, uh, FA custard at four, and that's just a regular custard, not the premium, and toasted marshmallow at two. Good looking mix it. I like that one. Uh, let's see, we have no one else I really recognize. See anybody here? Coil head. Let's see what Coil head did. did. He did this one in 2018, and it's called Coronavirus. Interesting. This is a banana cream with bananas fostered. The butterscotch is used as an accent at 0.5. Uh, caramel original at two. Cook FA cookie, FA fresh cream, FA custard in a wear custard. Marzipan ripe banana from. TFA and Zeppola. A deadly weapon to having your rotation of fried Zeppola with dangerously cream and banana custard filling dipped in a light cinnamon crunchy glaze. Add a quarter to a half a super sweet if you care. That's not a nice looking mix. Yeah, it's a, it's a little steeper. I was saying 30 days. All right, now let's go to TFA's Butterscotch DX. Now, the DX is supposed to not, you know, it doesn't have any of the warnings. You know, it doesn't have the acetoin and the acetylpropanol and all that stuff. It's supposed to be a little bit cleaner that way. Uh, average is 2.5% in a mix and 9.2 as a single flavor. Not quite sure of anybody that would do this as a single. Let's see, Grandma Bird, DX Butterscotch flavor is very nice. Rich and creamy butterscotch flavor, great on its own, but try blending with sweet ingredients for an old-fashioned candy appeal. Yeah, this is the uh, acetone-free version. Uh, let's see. Yep, not a whole lot there. Most commonly used. Probably going to be a lot of the same things, RY4 double. Uh, vanilla custard V1, acetylpyrazine sweetener, graham cracker, DX Bavarian cream, DX caramel original, regular caramel original, brown sugar, and swirl. Let's see if we can find any top recipes. There's only 107 public recipes for this flavor because it's, it's an older flavor. Let's see, B and wheels, oh, band, oh, band wheels. <laughs> He did a peanut butter drip. This is 2015, so there's another older mix. It's all DX and some Capella. See, banana cream, banana nut bread, the butterscotch at two, caramel original DX at three, cap marshmallow at two, DX peanut butter, DX sweet cream. Okay, four and a half and two respectively. It's a little bit different. With some stuff there. Uh, let's see. They did a version two in 2016 where he shortened it up. He used the uh, used DX Bavarian cream, the butterscotch at eight, Loran's butter rum at three, uh, sweet cream from Cap and EC Express, which is now Flavor Jungle sweetener, a half each. Not bad there. Let's see. Carp vapor. Over in the UK, he uses it at 1% with Loran's Colorless Butterscotch, uh, Cat Buttercream, Chef, Chef's Flavors Greek Yogurt, uh, Meringue, and Sweetener. Not a bad looking mix. When I find that from just off the sniff, the DX just seems darker, which is kind of surprising. Let's see, Demetrius. This is not Demi. This isn't uh, the vaping Greek. Let's see, 555 gold from Inaware at 2. Acetylpyrazine at 0.5. DX butterscotch at 1. French vanilla 2 at 2%. 2 no, RY4 double at 5. And toast and almond at 2. Another one from 2017. Uh, yeah, not bad looking mix. You know, kind of a... RY4 with some added tobacco notes. All right, let's go to FA Butterscotch. This is one of my one of my favorite butterscotches. I have a lot of them. Let's see, Lars. This smells great, but hadn't tried it yet. Uh, 
This is his website, so he can do what he wants. See, Furley, Head and Clouds Notes. Here we go. Stronger, sharper, and sweeter than F.A. Caramel. Like butterscotch ice cream topping for bold caramel flavor in a recipe. Butterscotch, perhaps mellowed with a little fresh cream, stands out more distinctly than F.A. Caramel. Where caramel blends in, butterscotch pops. When combined with nut flavors or coconut, Vienna cream, and optional Jamaica rum. Some very rich buttery notes can develop over time. 2% butterscotch plus 1% brandy makes uh, butterscotch schnapps. Uh, 2% butterscotch with 1 to 1 half fresh cream for a for creamier, less sweeter, less sweet flavor. Uh, I guess if that's what you want to dilute it down. 2% uh, FA cream, butterscotch with 1% fresh cream, 1% Vienna cream for a sweet, rich, smooth butterscotch with a hint of vanilla. 1.5% butterscotch with 1% fresh. Fresh cream, 1% vanilla Tahiti for a smooth, mild vanilla butterscotch, or vanilla bourbon for darker vanilla, a little less sweet. And if you want to do ice cream toppings, F.A. Butterscotch with F.A. Caramel is like combining the ice cream toppings. Sounds good. Let's see. Yep, seen cop some else. You know, they're all copying Head and Clouds notes on this. So let's get down to scroll through here where are we at come on today here we go most commonly used with fa caramel super sweet vienna cream fresh cream vanilla custard v1 fa cookie tfa brown sugar fa meringue tfa bavarian cream and ry4 double 954 public recipes and let's see we have 19,000 private recipes so this is right up there with TFA butterscotch. Let's see, not Charles Manson uses it in Royal Butterscotch. Uh, January 9th, 2016. Uh, let's see, he uses it at a half flavor. He used flavor West butterscotch at four. Nice combination there. Uh, brown sugar at a half. Fresh cream at 0.75. FA meringue at one and a half. Shisha vanilla, I guess, because a little bit sweeter. Vanilla note at 0.75 and at Vienna cream, which personally I need Vienna cream to steep pretty bad at 1.5. Uh, strawberry latte from Beaufort Batches. I always want to say Beaufort Bitches when I see that. FA butterscotch at 1, fresh cream at 1.5, FA custard at 1. And then we have Innerware Shisha Strawberry and Shisha Vanilla, 2 and 1 respectively. Strawberry Ripe at 2. Tiramisu from Innerware at a half and Vienna cream from FA at one. Hmm, okay. That's something a little bit different. We have Tam Vapes. This is one from 2017. She does fried butterscotch ice cream. I want to say I've mixed this, but I don't think I have actually. I don't know why I haven't. This looks really good. Uh, F.A. Breakfast Cereal at 1.5, F.A. Butterscotch at 1, Butterscotch Ripple at 2, uh, Wonder Flavors Car Caramel Rice Krispie Treats at 2.5, French Vanilla Ice Cream from Hankson at 1, Joy at a quarter, and then Vanilla Bean Ice Vanilla Ice Cream from Liquid Barn at 3. Uh, mixing, oh, she did this with Mixing with Mop Head, okay. Yeah, this is, uh, looks good. Yeah, early 27 or late 2017. Because Tam's one that got me. You know, she introduced me to Mophead. Mophead's a good dude. We got Butterface from Nevins. Uh, Cat Buttercream at 2. F.A. Butterscotch at 3. F.A. Caramel at 1. Holy Vanilla from DIY Flavor Shack at a half. Sweetener at 0.3. Tahitian Vanilla Cream from Wonder Flavors at 3 and Vanilla Ice Cream Liquid Barn at 4. There's another one from 2017. He's so young, I didn't know he was mixing then. Folkort's Classic Mayan Milk. This one's been around for a very long time. Has a, well, it says 2018, but I think it's been around actually longer than that. Uh, F.A. Butterscotch at 1. Chocolate Cream from Hanks at 0.75. Flavor cream at one, double chocolate V2 from Capella at 
meringue at two, super sweet 0.75, vanilla ice cream at one. He has a lot of notes here talking about the recipe, which he usually does. <clears throat> this is a Freedom Mix, you know, which is his site. Let's see, the Juice Fairy Molten Butterscotch. That looks pretty tasty. Uh, buttercream at 2, the F.A. Butterscotch at 2, Flavor of Custard at 0.5, Irish Cream from uh, Flavor Art at 0.25. Flavor a pound cake at a half and Jamaican special rum at 0.5. Some notes on it. You, if you want, you can pause it. You can read the notes there. Nice looking picture. So you see, it's a very popular mix. Uh, a lot of people have mixed it, mixed with this flavor. Here's one. Here's Head and Clouds, Head and Clouds Five Star Fancy Coffee. F.A. Butterscotch at a half, cream fresh at one, Irish cream at 0.5, tiramisu at 0.5, and vanilla Tahiti at one. That mix is six years old, so it's an old school mix. Definitely one you'd want to steep. Alrighty, gang. What am I doing here? There we go, back on top. Alright, some final thoughts. The F.A. Butterscotch is one that you should have in, if you only if you can only buy a hundred flavors in your lifetime and you like darker sweet flavors this is one that should be in that top hundred would i put it top 50 no there's, there's a couple more we're going to talk about later in the week that definitely are top 50 uh worthy but this one i would say top 100 uh the tfa ones i mean if you're bargain chasing you know, you can buy either one of the TFA ones for a dollar twenty nine for a ten mil over at Bull City. So I mean, you get you can get them cheap. So that's about that's about all we got for this Monday. Thank you everybody for your support so far. Hopefully you guys have been liking these videos. Still like the positive feedback we've been getting. If you want to see more of this, make sure you subscribe right down there below. Uh, give the video a like or dislike. If you, if you whatever you feel uh if you get a dislike you know or you know you just leave some comments uh the voting is going to end this week on what you want to see for next week your choices are custard caramel ice cream and there was a fourth one and i should have probably had it ready to be pulled up but there's a for check in the community section. You'll see it, or actually, you probably won't have to do that. Just go on your, you know, in your regular feed on YouTube, and you should find it if you're sub to the channel. Alrighty, gang, that's all we got for today. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.